dear students, uh, this topic is a very important topic um, because the uh, autalgia is a very common uh, complaint. You have to see many patients complaining about the ear pain. So, how to solve, how to, how to reach the diagnosis is because of this very common uh, uh, complaint in your clinic. So, you have to some strategy to um, uh, follow this complaint of the patient, okay? So, this is autalgia pain in the ear, okay? It's defined as a pain in the ear or earache. Sometimes the patient is not very clear. He may say that the ear discomfort, ear pain, very severe pain, pain around the ear, pain anterior to the ear, pain posterior to the ear. So, uh, we have to uh, accept the patient, whatever he is saying, but we, on history and examination, we have, we have to reach, uh, we try to reach a, a precise diagnosis of the um, cause. So, it is defined as pain in the ear or earache or ear discomfort. So, okay, the presentation is like this. There is a pain. So, where uh, we have to ask the patient, can he pinpoint where the pain is okay so any acute pain any pain localized because of localized pathology the patient can indicate that it is in the ear it is anterior when i press there's a pain okay or it is uh, it is all around this area so we can reach some diagnosis from uh, just asking the patient can you pinpoint the pain because just an example if the pain is uh, because of a titus externa or the boil or diffuse titus externa, the patients, if he press, if he press the ear, uh, he will cry with the pain because it is very tender, okay? And the pain uh, of the middle ear, like otitis media. So, uh, pressing the area of tragus or like this ear or moving the ear will not cause um, the problem, the, uh, the, uh, the excruciating pain, because now the pathology is the tympanic membrane and not the external artery canal. So it means the external artery can canal's pathologies can present with pain and tenderness. Okay, and the mid, uh, the uh, acute otitis media will not present with the tenderness, but if it is acute otitis media with mastoiditis. There is a pain on which area? Into the mastoid area. Into the mastoid area. When you press this bony structure, retro, retro, uh, retroorical, into the superior uh, Macune's triangle, which is the superior surface behind the auricles, the patient may have, on deep uh, compression, the patient may have feeling of pain. Okay? So, if it is a uh, Acute titus media, uh, uh, the pain may not be with the moving the tragus or uh, the auricle, but the pain will be in the mastoid area. So the patient will perceive as an earache. Okay. So on examination, you have to be careful to distinguish between the different areas which is causing the earache. So. There are a lot of uh, blood supplies to the uh, nerve supplies to the ear. As you can know, this is the from the cervical plexus, okay, to the pinna, retroauricular area, and then the eardrum. Eardrum, you can also see the nerve supplies from the facial nerve, glossopharyngeal nerves, vagus nerve, and cervical plexus. So it means any any pathology in this nerve supply to the other regions also can be referred as a pain in the ear okay so this is called referred otalgia when is the primary otalgia we will discuss now the primary otalgia because the pathology is in the ear and when the pathology is removed why the patient is ear, ear pain because the nerve which is supplying the ear is also supplying the other areas like the tooth area, the tongue area, up to the piriform fossa. Okay, as you can uh, perceive, the patient have a heart attack, have a patient uh, pain in the neck because of the referred pain. 
so th because the nerve that's supplying the heart is also supplying the throat area so this is why the uh, pain is referred to at area. So the primary causes of uh, uh, otalgia is in the external canals, you can say on the pinna, any any pathology, any compression, any inflammation can cause pain here. But in this area, you can, if you can move the pinna, the patient will feel the pain. It is called tenderness. Okay? Okay? This is some of the pathologies. Etiology of the referred pain. Okay. Here you can see up to the thyroid lesions, the, the, the uh, pariform fossa, the tongue, the dental cavity, the oral cavity, the TMJ, the sinuses pain, because these all are um, supplied by the same uh, nerves which also supply the ear. So the pain from this area referred as a pain in the ear. Okay, this is called diaphragmatology. Okay, so what are the nerves through the uh, through the uh, glossopharyngeal nerves? Glossopharyngeal nerve supplies the uh, oral cavity, oropharynx, eagle syndrome. Stoilet, if the stoilet process is the big one, ossified, and it causes pinching into the pharynx, it can the uh, Eagle syndrome and on x we can see an uh, enlarged ossified stylo stylet process because in normally it is not very large and if it is large it is not uh, totally ossified okay facial nerve it can cause the referred otalgia we will discuss some of these pathologies as you can here see the vestibular chevonoma because in the internal aortic canal the tumor compressed the facial nerve also. So why uh, this uh, vagus nerve pathology is vagus nerve supplying area why refer to the which areas uh, problem can refer to the uh, referred otalgia is the larynx and hypopharynx okay and uh, why the second and third cervical nerves if the if there is osteoarthritis neck pain it can present to the area of the ear and the person uh, patient perceive it at the as the otalgia pain in the ear so uh, it is it is uh, easy um, for ENT uh, specialists to detect the primary otalgia because one can see with the light uh, the pinna the post auricular area okay the throat cavity the nose cavity which are the sides of the uh, maybe the side of the referred pain and the tympanic membrane and the and any fluid or anything in in that the tympanic membrane but if on history and physical examination uh, the finding are inconclusive so we have to do if the patient is continuously uh, asking for the pain and we are not finding any pathology, then we have to go this much of investigation because we know that the referred pain from the remote area can present with as a uh, ear pain. So upper respiratory tract, we have to do and pen endoscopy. Why any tumor can cause problem? MRA, CT scan uh, for intracranial like a caustic neuroma, we can have to go for the MRA. Thyroiditis, thyroid pain can present is temporal arthritis, temporal nerve arthritis can present with the otalgia. Uh, then the eustachian tube dysfunction, as you know, it's, it can the early ca cause of the arthritis media. And uh, if all the uh, investigations are, uh, are clear, and we found any psychiatric uh, element in the patient, then we even we have to go for the psychiatric cons consultation. But it should be the last one. It should be the last one. If we have have the pain to investigate all the problem investigation, because referring a patient to the psychiatrist should be considered when all the investigations, all although it is the element. But this is the diagnosis of exclusion. 
you don't have to refer because the patients will be treated by the psychiatrist and the psychiatric problem because he knows that he has no organic cause. And if you have considered, uh, missed the organic cause, then it is up to you. The patient have problem with the organic cause and he's treated by the psychiatrist because the psychiatrist knows that he has been excluded from the organic cause. And if the organic cause is there, you haven't excluded it, then it is your mistake. And if it is uh, pain is not settling down and patient is using so many medicines because sometimes the so many of analgesic over the, or the, uh, over the time of months can cause uh, painful uh, sensation. And then you have to watch the patient every month or two and then reevaluate. If you not reach the diagnosis uh, on the f uh, and on the first, um, you are sitting. So this is very important. We have to follow the cases. We know we don't want to investigate a bundle of investigation to the patients in the first. Sometimes it is a very minor thing. A TMJ joint pain, some stress, some auric auricular chondritis. It settled down and give some analgesic and then follow up. If it is not considered, then you have to go for the further investigation. So one uh, common cause of uh, otalgia is the otitis externa, any boil, any uh, inflammation like swimmers here, or diffuse otitis externa because the water is going there, uh, otomycosis because the patient is uh, um, have the itching and he tried to clean it with the blunt and sharp things that cause um, vulnerable to inflammations. This is the different kinds of um, otitis externa because the mainly it, the pain is because of otitis externa because it is, it is uh, exposed to the external environment. External environment like infections, like water, like dryness, like automobile causes, and then the trauma, self inflicted trauma by the patients. Okay? Okay. Uh, okay. Just I have to see this, uh, see you, uh, saw you these pictures of otitis externa. The first picture on the uh, above is uh, diffuse otitis externa. The second picture on uh, on the above slide is the boil. You can see a projection because the hair, uh, the skin here have the uh, have the hairs, so. And this skin portion, external ear portions, uh, skin can be involved by the boil. And this skin is very thick, so in the initial you cannot see the pointing of the uh, boil, but you, uh, the patient have the uh, severe pain. And when it erupts, when it discharge, the pain usually settles down. So during this, you have to give the antibiotic, good analgesic, or you can pack the ears with the ichthamol glycine. So other few, uh, here you can see uh, a picture of uh, otomycosis. You can see the spores. So this can cause because for months, because the patient have itching and he has not getting the proper treatment with antifungals uh, drops. So it will lingers into the chronic stage and the patient used to uh, do the hearing, uh, ear cleaning and uh, get trauma and this continues with the pain there. So these other pictures of the auricles are the um, herpes. Herpes involves the same dermatomes of the nerve and this also causes the facial nerve paralysis because of this um, herpes zoster auricles. Here you can see the chondritis, chondritis with the um, auricular involvement or with the malignant otitis section. I mean, in the diabetic, if they have a deep seated pain, pain much in the night time and pain or tenderness on pressing the uh, below the tigus area, uh, if the pain is there, then it is in the diabetic, we can say that it is malignant and we have to treat it with the long term therapy with the anti pseudonym monads. Um, uh, antibiotics and to see the 
um, on the follow up the disease is settling down or or progressive progressive we have to then give the iv antibiotics third generations fellow sporins and have to do the ct scan with the bone scans sometimes the, the the continuous problem of discharging is a dead bone because of this um, infection the osteomyelitis the bone become dead and it is continuously causing osteomyelitis and then we have to remove it okay so this is the one some of the causes of uh, middle ear causing as a pain this is uh, uh, acrotritis media above the other picture which shows the whitest debris is the uh, clostridioma clostridioma which is going upward and pressing maybe have pressing the meninges meninges there so causing pain okay going as a complications to the intracranially because you as you know uh, clostridioma a type of uh, otitis media have the progression to the intracranial complications okay then these are uh, uh, here you can see a uh, uh, one ct scan you can see this um, otitis media on the left side with the mastoiditis this can present as a ear pain even when we can see nothing in the uh, problem with the tympanic membrane the mastoiditis will present as a ear pain and if we have uh, complications with the chronic respiratory otitis media like the brain abscess the uh, peri uh, other abscesses um, because of its complications extradural epidural like this they can present they may present as a silent silently there and causing fevers and other symptoms and with the earache so hey, we have to if there is not settling we have a battery of investigation to follow to know the cause of the continuous pain okay thank you so much so and this is very common problem and very common because you have to see many of the patient presenting with this so you have a um, uh, clear strategy to follow these cases with the um, uh, with the guideline from the examination what you want to ask to exclude the other causes on examination what are the findings you if you are not getting the finding then you have to go for a referred otalgia to see the the nerve supplying this area to and the other areas to we so we have to know that uh, there is any pathology to that areas of the nerve supplying uh, and uh, um, if you cannot find any we have to give the medicines if we cannot reach a diagnosis on the first two settings one setting or two settings give the medications and and ask them to follow up don't don't send them patient it means the patient have in mind that the doctor doesn't know i have not getting settled but the uh, pay, uh, doctor if he is sending him with the uh, very first steps of medications and he want him to settle uh, come for the second opinion it means if it is not settled then he will go for the uh, further investigation because some of the diseases are hidden but they are self limiting okay so ask them to come for the if they can, cannot get better come for the second time or g g take a second opinion and then go for the to uh, come investigate the patients for the cause of the continuous pain over the long time okay thank you so much